It's one thing to be seen by people and another to be seen by God. One is bound to let us down. The other will never leave us or forsake us. It's up to us to choose. Top of the morning to you. When we consider our need to be seen with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we see this need to be is fulfilled by either people or God. Since people are fickle and generally out for themselves, we probably don't trust them enough to be there for us when it truly matters. However, our God is truly someone who knows our knows us best. After all, he did create us in the beginning. And according to 2 Corinthians 5.17, thanks to Christ, we are a new creation. John 1.17, we are children of God. John 15.15, 15, friends of God. Galatians 2.20, no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. 1 Corinthians 6.19, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12.27, we are the body of Christ and members of it. Romans 8.37, we are more than conquerors. In 1 Corinthians 2.16, we have the mind of Christ. How much more seen do we need to be? Scriptures confirm how much we matter to God. Psalm 139.16-17 You, O Lord, saw me before I was born. Romans 5.8 God showed us His great concern for us by sending Christ, His only begotten Son, to die for us. Isaiah 49.16 God has tattooed us on the palm of His hand. Romans 1 6, we are God's creation. None of this matters if we choose to ignore God or have a, d a divided loyalty between Him and the world. James 4 8. Such disloyalty will only doom us to a life of loneliness, always chasing after recognition from people, to the point that we are more concerned about pleasing people than pleasing God. This leaves us feeling lonely despite being surrounded by people. Just look at pop stars who perform in front of millions of people throughout their lives and end up ODing because it was not satisfying enough. They end up like the person in Psalm 31 verses 9 through 13. Those who choose not to ignore God and who draw near to Him will, will get to enjoy verses 14 through 23, where we get to say, You are my God. I trust you with my future. Your unfailing love rescues me. You publicly display your goodness towards me. You protect me in the secret place of your presence. A word of encouragement, we have a choice to make. Do we seek people's approval over God's approval? If so, we risk a life of loneliness despite being having plenty of friends. On the other hand, when we go full force into seeking God and his love, we can be more like Jesus who seemingly walked a lonely path, everyone against him, even his disciples abandoning him. But he declares in John 8, 16, I am not alone. The Father is in me. Have a great day.